So in this video, I want to show you an EdTech tool that is becoming my go-to for creating tutorials for teachers, step-by-step -step directions, that sort of thing. And it is called Guide. You can sign up at guide.com. And once you sign up, you can install the free Chrome extension. Once you install the Chrome extension, this is what your dashboard will look like. Now I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a guide. So to do that, I'm just going to select this button. And when I click capture, it's going to record all of the different steps. Now the procedure that I'm going to be modeling is how to create a website in Canva. The G is on the bottom of the page and now all the steps that I take will be recorded starting now. So I'm going to start by just modeling how to create a website inside Canva. I've just created a new website. Now I'm going to pick my design. I'll take this one and I'm going to apply all six pages. So those are my five or six steps. I'm now finished. So I'm going to click this button at the bottom and I'm going to stop the capture. And let's check out what guide did. You can see that it kind of created this movie that has step-by-step -step directions. Each spot where I clicked on with my mouse arrow is highlighted in each one of these individual steps or each one of these individual slides. Now this looks good, but what I'd like to do is customize this a little bit more. So I'm going to click the edit button and I'm going to change a few different things. The first is going to be the title. I'm just going to call it how to create a website in Canva. I'll change this one too. Okay, now on here, you can see that on my main page, maybe these colors are not consistent with what I want for our particular brand. So I can change the color in the background and I can even select the insert button and I can add an image to go in the corner. There's my Canva logo. I can make that a little bit bigger. And now my first slide is complete. So now what I want to do is look at each one of these individual slides, make sure that the text and the highlight make sense, which it does. Now, in this case, rather than this saying opens in a new tab, I'm going to change this to say create blank. Okay, let me just review the rest of my steps. This looks good. Now, if I wanted to, I could even select add step and I could have this be a title step, kind of like this one. Again, I'm just going to pick that same background or something similar. Let me insert some text and I'm going to have this say, have fun creating. And I'm also going to want to select insert. I'm going to put the Canva logo back over here in the center. There we go. And since I have that one, I'm just going to get rid of this last step. Now, the other thing that I want to share is that you can actually create a voiceover. I think this is so interesting. So rather than just having the video kind of playing, if you want to add some additional narration, you can click the record button and you can record your voice. Now, the other option, which is really interesting, is if you don't want to use your own voice, you can use this text to voice feature. So basically, you just type in the directions, you choose a voice, and Guide will allow you to create a voiceover, one of these two options on the screen as well. So if you don't want to use your own voice, you can generate a natural sounding voice right over here. Again, just a really nice feature that's inside Guide. Perfect. So it looks like I'm good to go. Let me save those changes. And now here is my new video. You can see that it's auto playing. Now, if I want to set the timing so each step lasts a little bit longer, I can do that again in that same edit window. And off to the side, you can also see that as I click from one step to the next, it's going to scroll down and show me exactly what I'm looking at. Okay, so now how do I share this? This is what I really like about Guide. In just a minute or so, I was able to create these step-by-step -step directions and I can share this in a few different ways. Number one, if I select share, it is going to generate a link that will let me take this link and share it with anyone who needs these directions. So I can share the link. It's going to show up almost like a website again, which looked very similar to my view. Now people can go in and they can click from step to step, which is really interesting. Now I want to show you one other way that you can share this. It is by creating a GIF. All I have to do is just click on this button that says copy GIF. And now check this out. Let's say that I want to share these directions with a coworker. I can just select 
copy. So now this GIF has automatically been embedded in the body of this email for people to be able to view these directions, which again, I think is so cool. It took one click, one paste, and it automatically did this. All right, let me show you a few other options to share. By clicking Smart Copy, I have a way where I can embed the HTML inside any website or some of these other platforms that you're looking at right now. The other option is Export. This is where I can download an MP4 video of this guide. I can also import a GIF file if I wanted to, or the last step is a PDF. So again, this is what I love about guide. I did one tutorial and instantly I can download a video. I can download a GIF. I can create, I can share it as a website and I can also download a PDF. So let's see what the guide PDF is going to look like. Okay. There is my PDF. It has each of those steps right there. This is perfect because I can't tell you how many times I've created a video and then have to go back and do step-by-step -step directions for people to follow along. Guide lets you do this automatically. So for more information, you can check out guide at guide.com. I really do think that this will make your life easier. And I think that the resources that you're able to generate almost simultaneously are going to be really helpful for the different colleagues that you support. So go ahead, check out guide. And if you do leave a comment below.